The 2024 Lok Sabha elections have brought a unique scenario. Abdul Rashid Sheikh, despite being in prison for alleged terror funding, won from Baramulla constituency. And Amrit Pal Singh, known for his demand for a separate nation, won from Khadur Sahib constituency. But how were they able to contest elections? Under the representation of the People Act 1951, any citizen of India who is a resident in a constituency can be registered in the electoral roll for that constituency. And what happens if these candidates are convicted? The Supreme Court of India, in a landmark judgment in 2013, held that MPs, MLAs, would be immediately disqualified from holding the positions upon conviction of a crime. But can they take their oaths while in jail? Elected representatives who are in jail are often temporarily released on bail or parole to take their oaths of office. But how do they fulfill their duties from jail and how would it impact their constituency? Jailed MPs can perform some duties through support from party members and legal teams, but their participation in sessions is limited. Missing two consecutive months of Lok Sabha sessions without notice can lead to losing their seat. So they must inform the speaker of their absence. They might struggle with effective representation in their constituency and could face challenges accessing the representatives and receiving full parliamentary support. Jail candidates like Abdul Rashid Sheikh and Amrit Pal Singh raise key questions about governance.